Esports going through some hard times right now. Summit did a lot for the scene. Um, but the thing Summit did for Melee uh, was it was independent. So it did not have to work with Nintendo all the time if it didn't want to, which was really nice. Uh, they had a sales team, which got more money for the production side, got more um, other people, video producers, whatever, to help with the scene. But also they could use their sales team to help the community, which is how we got the Papa John's deal that was very good for us last year. We no longer have access to that. Um, they did a lot of content, which helped player brands, which was also very good for us. Um, there was a lot of money in the prize pool, and a lot of the content that came out of the campaigning process also was good for brands, good for discussion, good for things like that. And it even showed that there is money in the community if we know how to tap into it. And I thought that was really cool. Oh, what else is there? Hmm. They did an invitational style event and they helped take care of players. Um, and that helped uh, higher level players set their standards for, you know, you know, open bracket events, it helped encourage VIP rooms. Um, help them know that like their dietary needs or whatever mattered and were valuable and could be accommodated for. Um, and, you know, I think, and they hired a lot of people from Melee. And so if you were in Melee and you wanted, you wanted to work in Melee, work in the industry and didn't want to leave because so many people would like build skills in Melee and then have to go work at other companies. Um, you, you normally had to leave Melee and not be involved if you wanted to make a living. But BTS kind of gave you a chance to, at least sometimes, you know, be part of Melee and maybe work with other events, but still be part of Melee in a really big way. And I thought that was really cool. So I think they did a whole lot for, for the scene. I think they really did. And, um, you know, I think having those organizations outside of us is, was also good for the... Panda, Dr. Allen situation, right? They weren't under contract because they were their own organization. They weren't under an NDA. So when Dr. Allen was doing his stuff, they could say, yep, this is the problems we had. We can show you the screenshots. We're not under NDA. That was also very good. And that also was a check against anyone trying to do stuff in Melee. Um, they were, pff, oh my goodness, I'm remembering another thing. They were competition for video game boot camp as a stream and that was something that benefited TOs that was something uh, and they were also uploaded videos really regularly and right away and so they were a hub for important things for the scene so yeah they uh I mean they just did so so many wonderful things um that really benefited the community and so now we know we have to go back to wondering Will there be another player, another streamer in the Melee space? What's VGBC gonna do? How are TOs gonna fare, especially with Nintendo trying to stop more deals and not having that sales group anymore, right? More concerns for TOs. Um, so there's, there, there's a lot of implications that come out of this, right? I think t having, you know, concerns for TOs, are players going to build their own brands in the absence of Summit? Um, you know, our players going to focus more on content because now they don't even have the summit prize pools to take advantage of. Is someone else going to try and find a way to monetize the community uh, in the way that Summit did? You know, there are a lot of interesting. Um, there are a lot of issues, certainly, that that open up with Summit being gone. But Summit also showed us a lot of what was possible, a lot of what we still can do. Maybe we as a Melee community could create a Beyond the Summit, right? I mean, there are states that do their own summits, right? Where they invite players and have a stream and play Mafia and, you know, do a little bit of content or whatever, right? Why not try to make that a whole community-wide thing? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's something that we could do. Um, maybe we could even find a way to uh, 
bring in some of the former BTS staff to do it. I don't know. I don't really know if there's something like that that could happen. But, you know, there's an opportunity. There's We know it can be done because it was done. Um, and maybe it had to be tweaked a little bit because there were obviously some financial issues and I don't know exactly how that, you know, panned out for the company. I don't know what would need to have been done differently or if there could be a different thing or if we just need to wait this out and something different will happen. But regardless, it, Summit worked and grew in a variety of conditions. So I think a lot of what they did was really, was really wonderful. And so I think that's still possible. Um, and of course, what's going on with Summit is part of a larger downturn in, you know, the larger space, esports and otherwise. Uh, but, you know, of course, my hope is that we take what's good that Summit did and try to learn from that and try to create more from that. You know, it'd be, I think it'd be a shame if in like five years there are people joining the community and they don't understand why Summit was special and they don't... They don't know, uh, they don't think it's possible. They wouldn't want to pay for an event like that or whatever, right? They wouldn't understand like how, how important this could be for us. And, and so I do hope that we find some way to, to still build with what Summit built for us. And I, th and I do think that's possible. Um, whether it looks really different or just slightly different, you know, whatever form it is, I'm happy for it because it means something would be going good for Melee. Something would be going good for the video producers and the tournament organizers and the salespeople and whoever else could be involved. So, that's my hope. I hope that we have good things that come out of this and I, I really want to focus on what good we can do. What, how, you know, maybe there can be a home for some of these staff members and some esports organizations or, um what they the space they left for us we can still you know use that and take those lessons and use that for ourselves i think that i think you know i think that's what a lot of the people from summit would really like to see is that they inspired us to do more rather than okay it was gone and there's just this big hole and we're sad about it right it just doesn't feel as good i i hope that we can you know, take this and do more with it so that's my summit spiel um Hopefully, hopefully uh, you guys thought that was a little interesting and maybe provides a little bit of context for you that, those of you that weren't aware about it. <laughs>